Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to tune a violin or viola using the pegs in the peg box. Before you start, check to make sure that the bridge is standing up straight. If the bridge is leaning towards the peg box, there is the danger that it will collapse as you tighten the strings, and at the very least it will startle you if this happens. If the violin has fine tuners on the tailpiece, find the correct tuner for the string you are tuning and turn it counterclockwise, left, as far out as it will go. This will further lower the pitch and the tension of, on the string, giving more room to work with. If you have a tuner, turn the tuner on and attach it to the violin. Sit firmly in a chair and have the violin in an upright position facing you. The end pin area of the violin should be planted firmly in your lap so that you don't have to be concerned with the instrument moving. If you are tuning the A or E strings, hold the violin with your left hand resting on the shoulder of the violin and your fingers around the back of the neck. Your left thumb should be in front of the strings so it can move and gently pluck the strings at the violin shoulder level. If you are tuning the G or D strings, hold the violin with your right hand. A few points about tuning. Violin strings break during tuning when people are not aware of how far to turn the peg. This is why it is important to gently pluck the string frequently during the tuning process. Violin pegs and the peg box are just wood against wood. Most pegs are not gears. You should, however, treat the peg like it is a screw, and when you tighten the string to raise the tuning, you should be turning the peg into the peg box as if you were turning a screw. Keep in mind that when you raise the pitch of the string, the string becomes tighter and tighter, and if you go too fast and too far, the string will break. If you turn the peg in the manner I described, the string should stay in place when you reach the desired pitch. If the string does not stay in place, then you have not turned the peg as if you were screwing into the peg box. Do not raise the pitch to the desired pitch and then push the peg into the peg box. This can cause grooves in the peg and eventually it will be impossible to tune the string to the desired position. Expensive repairs could be the result. You have to turn the peg like a screw into the peg box. Now we're ready to proceed. First, gently pluck the string and look at the tuner to see what it shows and also listen to the pitch. Different tuners operate differently but what we're ultimately looking for is G, D, A, or E. Then, with your hand on the peg, slightly move the peg to loosen it first, and then gently pluck the string again. To loosen the peg, which lowers the pitch, you will be moving the peg towards you. This will do two things. One, it will give you an idea of how much a little change in movement will change the pitch. And two, if you don't do that, you may end up exerting too much effort to break the peg loose and tighten the string too high and too fast. So once you loosen the peg a little, you can now begin to raise the pitch by tightening the tension on the string. Remember to turn the peg into the peg box while you're doing this and frequently pluck the string to see how the tuning is progressing. The more often you tune the violin using the pegs, 
the more at ease you will become. In the beginning, if you are nervous and if you loosen the corresponding tuner on the tailpiece, you can probably tune low with the peg and tune the rest of the way with the tuner. Instruments are different, but, for example, if you're tuning the E string, which is the one most likely to break, if you tune up to a D or slightly above, you might want to try to tune it the rest of the way with the tuner on the tailpiece. Generally, when you tune with the tuner, the correct tuning will give you a green light or put you on a line in the middle of a graph or perhaps both. Tuners show you if you are too high or too low. You want to be right in center. Also, make sure the tuner only shows the G, D, A, or E. Look closely to make sure you're not tuning to a G, D, A, or E sharp or flat. You might feel a little tense when you are tuning with the pegs the first few times, so try to relax and remember to breathe.